Hardness Testing Machine. For detail please visit my YouTube channel and please subscribe. Hardness Testing The application of hardness testing enables you to evaluate a material's properties, such as strength, ductility and wear resistance. And so helps you determine whether a material or material treatment is suitable for the purpose you require. How do hardness tests work? A hardness test is typically performed by pressing a specifically dimensioned and loaded object, indenter, into the surface of the material you are testing. The hardness is determined by measuring the depth of indenter penetration or by measuring the size of the impression left by an indenter. Types of hardness testers 1 Rockwell 2 Brinnell, 3 Vickers, 4 Noop, 5 Shaw, 6 Webster, 7 Lieb. Rockwell Hardness Tester The Rockwell method offers a quick and accurate measure of hardness on almost all metals and some plastics. Rockwell Hardness method is a two phase process involving the preload phase and the main load phase. Initially, the preload force is applied. This small force breaks the surface, slightly indenting the material to create a measurement baseline. The main load force is then applied, creating the indention to be measured. Brinnell Hardness Testers It often used to measure the thickness of items with a coarse surface structure, such as castings and forgings, where it produces the most accurate readings. They are more suitable for measuring harder materials that require more force to penetrate the surface. It uses a hard spherical ball, usually around 10 mm in diameter. An applied force, a typical test will use 3000 kg, pushes the ball against the surface of the material for a set amount of time, between 10 to 30 seconds, known as the dwell time. Vickers Hardness Testers. They are also used to measure small individual parts or small sections of larger samples. The Vickers measure consists of applying a force, load, onto the test material through a diamond-shaped indenter. The distances between the horizontal and vertical points of the resulting indentation are used to calculate the indentation size and determine the Vickers measurement. These horizontal and vertical distances must be within 5% of each other. Noop Hardness Testers The Noop Hardness Test is a micro-hardness test used particularly for very brittle materials or thin sheets. Dot the small size and shape of the indenter on these types of hardness testers allow this. The diamond shape is elongated, increasing the surface area of the indentation. This spreads the force out, and a less concentrated force area means the brittle materials are less likely to break under test. Thin ceramics are an example of this. The new hardness test uses a rhombohedral shaped diamond indenter. This is pressed into the polished surface of the test material, 100 grams load, for a specified dwell time. The indentation created is more elongated than the square diamond produced by the Vickers method. Five Shaw Hardness Testers 
Sure hardness testers, sure durometers, are types of hardness testers used for measuring the hardness of rubbers and plastics. There are generally two further subcategories of sure hardness types that include sure A and sure D. The sure hardness instrument works by a spring loaded steel rod with a beveled cone at the tip. The test sample is positioned straight under the beveled cone. The hardness tester is then pressed against the material until the flat metal plate in the bottom is level with the elastomer sample. 6 Webster Hardness Testers Webster testers are types of hardness testers that are easy and quick to use, with the hardness result read directly from the indicator with a simple clamp. Used commonly for on-site quality inspections, it can test aluminium alloys, brass, copper and soft steel. Although, its primary use is measuring sheet material. Seven lead hardness testers. This method measures the velocity of rebound when a carbide ball or diamond tipped head is propelled onto a surface. Standardized in ASTM A95617, Lieb hardness testers are suitable for testing larger workpieces, over 5 kg. Suitable for use on most metallic materials, the sample must have a prepared, smooth finish for an accurate reading.